Hello, uh, my name's Skenshin. First of all, if you're here for a chiptune or a chiptune remix, sorry, this is not that. However, this is my uh, Mega Man collection, my uh, Mega Man room. I've been wanting to show this off for a while. I finally got in a good spot, I, I think. Uh, this is going to be a pretty quick video, though. I'm just going to go show all the different sections I got, and if there's maybe a question or someone wants to see something in more detail, I'll do that in another video. But uh, let's get to it. Um, right up here, we got plushies and the helmets on top. And this first uh, display cabinet is basically anything goes. It's kind of color coordinated, blue and red, and the busters with this in the center. But you know, I don't discriminate old or new. So we got really old plushies, plus you know, some newer statues or figures that have come out, like that Mega Man Eleven bobblehead and anything goes for this one. But uh. Yeah, I really like this. Got a lot of cool things in that. And this is the game, the cabinet I have. So this is organized by region. So top is Japan. Uh, this is North America. And then the third shelf is PAL and Asia. Uh, PAL's kind of a mess because there's so many PAL games. Uh, but then, yeah, like Rockman, Gold Empire, Rockman Strategy in there. And then the bottom is... A little bit of everything. It's handhelds, Mighty Number no. Nine, DVDs, games that Mega Man appears in and is playable. That's my criteria for that. And so this, oh, I should show this. This is a little music box I made that plays out of the Mega Man speaker. So that's fun. And then this is basically a mix of Japanese and American toys. So Ruby Spears plus the Super Deformed Keshi, Super Deformed from Bandai. Again, Retro Roto plus more Super Deformed. Uh, Jazz Wares, more Bandai. Yeah. Over here we got this Mega Man Legend standee. It's pretty cool. These cabinets I haven't messed with in a while, but Nendoroid, the arts, which unfortunately is no longer with us for both X and Classic. These statues by, I believe it was Monica, made these Mega Man 2 Robot Masters. It's unfortunate that, um, fortunate that I guess they're no, no more. And yeah, these old, these, uh, Model kits from Rockman Four and Five from Bandai are my favorites, probably. Uh, these, this is, these are pretty new. These Sideshow Collectibles X and Zero, I have Zero over here. They're pretty recent. Up top, the giant size. I think this Rockman is probably still the best Rockman figure. This line was pretty great, but I think this Rockman still takes the cake, even compared to like the Mega Man Eleven first four, pretty new too. Um, this cabinet is my work in progress. It has all the Kota Bukaya um, model kits, which you can see I have not made. I have not made a single one, but my plan is to put them in there with some of the newer stuff that keeps coming out. These um, these vinyl recolors and the Jada line. My plan to keep those in there. And then, yeah, just other, other guys, other dudes. Um, up here, got these Nintendo Power posters, the recent first four, Zero and X. Um, down here is my bookshelf of strategy guys, art books, music, uh, Nintendo Power. These prints are from the recent anniversary store. So that's pretty much about it. I do want to mention I have... The Rockman Ar Mega Man arcade game and Rockman Ability, but it's in my garage because that's where I keep my arcade games. So I'll probably do that in another video. But yeah, that's about it. So if you made it this far, thank you. And uh, yeah.